What's up gang, Coach Matt here, and today I wanna to shoot a quick video to talk a little bit about hand care. Might be a little hard to see, you might see the words here, but you take a little closer look, got a little rip in that hand. So Friday's workout was, we call it pullover, and it was four time, you had to do 70 kipping pull-ups, 35 chest to bar pull-ups, and then 20 strict pull-ups. Needless to say, somewhere in there I ripped my hand. So I wanted to just take a couple of minutes today to talk a little bit about what the things that I do and what I've recommended to clients to take care of their hands. Typically the first thing that people will talk about or ask questions about is calluses, getting those calluses on your hands. And it kind of depends on where you get them. I get mine mostly right here on my palm. And a couple of things you want to do with that is, A, those are realizing those are good things. They're, they're there to protect you and kind of tell you where things are rubbing. But then B, also don't let them build up to get so thick that when they do tear, they're going to rip obviously all the way down to that fresh skin and, and then you just don't get to train. So there's a couple tools on the market that we have here at the gym. There's a, a little Cali Cure thing right here. And you can see it's kind of rough. Do a little job of rubbing those calluses down and sanding them down. I got this one for free one time in a gift box. It's called the Sandbar. Very similar concept to the Cali Care. Nice thing I like about this one's a little bit bigger around, a little bit closer to that the pull-up bar. Again, you can either just rub it off, sand it down, keep those calluses in good shape. So that's the first thing that I always recommend is that you sand those down, keep those, you know, again, not completely gone, but down to that point where they won't get thick and rip. All right, so after you finish sanding down those calluses, the next thing you wanna do is hydrate those hands. And you can just get any kind of generic cream or lotion that you can use to keep your hands nice and hydrated um, and smooth and all that fun stuff. Obviously not something you wanna do right before coming in the gym, so your hands get slick and then you just end up putting a bunch of chalk on there anyway. But in between workouts, throughout the day, before you go to bed, um, Again, just really thick, heavy lotion really works really well, especially at night, um, but especially right after you finish sanding those down and you clean off a lot of that dead skin, wash your hands up really well, put that moisturizing lotion on to pull in all that moisture and help that, that skin grow back um, the way you want it to do, especially after an injury and all that fun stuff. Okay, speaking of injuries, so if you do get a tear, so again, kind of like what I had, it wasn't a bad one, but just right on the bottom of my palm, on Friday is don't go ahead and rip the skin off, the, the dead skin that might be hanging out there a little bit. I know it sounds gross, but again, just don't go ahead and rip it off. Clean it up, obviously get a lot of that dirt and chalk and all that fun stuff that might be on your hands when you were doing the workout, when you had that rip. Um, but wait till you get home, you can get some uh, clippers or some scissors or something like that, cut that skin off. Um, and then for a couple of days, go ahead and put some antiseptic on it, cover it with a bandage. Um, keep it clean as best as possible. Obviously, you have to get in the shower. It's probably going to hurt and all that fun stuff. But, and then a couple of days after that, let it breathe. Kind of what I'm doing right now is, is what I found, um, especially with one that's not thick and it's definitely not bleeding anymore and it's actually starting to heal up a little bit. Uh, even today on Monday when I'm filming this, but keep moisturizing it, right? Keep sanding it down those thick edges. You know, either keep trimming them down with the uh, clippers or the scissors that you did, maybe even trying a little bit of light sanding with your, your stone, uh, pumice stone or the sandbar or whatever you got. But again, keep those, those edges nice and moisturized and hydrated as best as possible. And then obviously the final thing is all that stuff internally. So hydrate, right? Making sure you're, you're hydrating a little bit more, hitting those electrolytes, drinking more water, you know, skipping some of the, the sugary drinks and whatnot, although you guys don't do that. We know that. But anyway, but thinking about keeping yourself moist, uh, hydrated from the inside out so those hands stay nice and supple. So I hope you found this helpful. If you got any questions, obviously drop them in the comments below or hit me the next time you come into the gym. Look forward to it and sighting your riot again soon.